But the vision to become the center of urban excellence in Africa, the city of Kigali seeks to build and sustain a city of character, vibrant economy and diversity. The goal may not be too far, as in the beginning of 2022, the city of Kigali dedicated new roads network to pedestrians, allowing residents to relax and have light moments in otherwise congested city. The Imboga City Walk, located in the Central Business District. The colorful with Yogoka free zone in Nyerujenje district, renowned for its ginger tea. And the weekend Gisimentika free zone, closed to cars every week during evenings from Friday to Sunday to allow bars and eateries on district to expand their sitting area outdoors. This year also saw the city installing public lighting in new roads and constructing more as well as smart bus shelters around town. The city also constructed two completed ravines, namely Gwimbogo and Kabusunzu, as it is rehabilitating two drainages in Kituchiro and Nyarujenje districts. The city of Kigali also expanded bridges in Nyabugogo area on Mazi drainage to reduce floods that used to hit the business hub. Along this drainage, the city is also implementing a rehousing project where at least 56 families from unplanned settlements and high-risk zones were given decent houses under the rehousing model in Nyerujenje district. The city's Giza Riverside Homes project, inaugurated by the President of the Republic earlier this year, will have over 2,200 affordable housing units in addition to being eco-friendly, both in terms of materials used and the environmental setup. The city of Kigali also built small markets for street vendors. It patterned with different private investors to construct nine new mini-markets for about 4,000 street vendors and finance them to raise their capital so as to make their business more viable. This year also saw North Skin House Kigali, an entrepreneurs and innovators hub that provide them with office spaces, conference areas, open space for co-working, a media hub where things like TV shows can be done, a theater among other things. In addition to being eco-friendly, as 90 to 95% of the energy it uses is solar. Before the year would end, the then Prime Minister officially launched one of the major milestones for Rwanda's conservation, Nyandungu Ecotourism Park. The 121 hectare park, restored within six years, created over 4,000 green jobs, mainly for women and young people. The park has a medicinal garden, a pops garden, five catchment ponds, three recreation ponds, an information centre, restaurant, and 10 kilometers of walkaways and bicycle lanes. With 70 hectares of restored wetland and 50 hectares of forest, 
The park is home to more than 62 local plant species and over 100 bird species. Following this, the City of Kigali received the Wetland City Accreditation Award during the 14th meeting of the Conference of the Contracting Parties to the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands that took place in Geneva, Switzerland.